Hi, this is your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Maggie Baruco. Maggie sent me this crazy, disturbing story, and it's coming from Oklahoma. So what's going on in Oklahoma is that we have a 26-year-old woman. Her name is Shayna Sims. And Shayna Sims went to the funeral of another woman, of a rival, and basically cut the flesh and the hair off of the decedent at the funeral. This story is just so damn morbid and disgusting. I want you guys to go ahead and check out the news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. A woman in Tulsa, Oklahoma, has been charged after holding a grudge against a frenemy. The two women were friends at some point, but after they dated the same man, police say things changed. And when the former friend passed away, Shayna Smith allegedly went to the viewing at the funeral home, and while the family thought she was there to pay her respects, Smith was desecrating her body. Hair that was removed from the decedent on the floor near the casket, as well as the makeup on the the face of the decedent was smeared and there was a laceration to the to the face. Officers caught up to Smith inside the dead woman's apartment. She still had the knife, police say, and in the blade was her frenemy's hair. Police aren't sure what she was doing in the apartment, but they arrested her and charged her with illegal dissection. For 11 News Now, I'm Catherine Amento. All right, so you guys just watched that disturbing news clip. The thing is, how the hell can you be that jealous of a dead person? First of all, you're actually winning because you still have air in your lungs and you're here to see another day. But am I the only one who saw that mugshot and thought that she was the decedent? That bitch looks crazy as hell with the little beady ass black eyes, that pale ass skin. I thought she was the dead woman at first. I mean, this whole situation is sick and I would advise that her boyfriend dump her ASAP and run for the damn hills because if your so-called girlfriend is willing to go to the funeral of your ex-girlfriend and desecrate her body, that lets you know that this bitch is a few eggs short of a dozen. This woman is crazy as hell and and she needs some type of psychiatric evaluation because no normal person will go to a funeral and desecrate the body of somebody who's already dead. And not to be a conspiracy theorist, but if this woman is that angry that she's wanting to go to the funeral to make sure that this woman is dead, I think the police need to investigate and make sure that she didn't have something to do with this woman's death. Because in the article, I tried to look it up to see how this woman died. I can't find any mention of how this woman supposedly died. So I don't know if she was hit by a car, she was shot. I don't know what happened, but depending on how this woman died, I think it needs to be investigated. This chick is that crazy to do that to her while she's laying in her coffin. Who's to say that this chick didn't poison her? Who's to say that this chick didn't set her up to be killed? There's a lot of crazy, deranged ass people out here, so I don't put nothing past nobody. This story's not only insane, but it's sick as hell. I'ma need Oklahoma to lock this crazy, beady-eyed bitch up and throw away the key, because obviously she's not playing with a full deck, okay? Anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning 26-year-old Shayna Sims. How do you feel about this story and what do you think should happen to her? And then also, do you feel like her boyfriend needs to dump her ASAP and run for the hills? And am I wrong into thinking that Shayna might be involved in this woman's murder, being that she went to the funeral home and she did all this to the body? So go ahead and leave a comment. Let's get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. Hey, YouTube. It's your girl, Lovely T. And you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button, watching my previous videos, and following me on social media.